The Denver Broncos' playoff chances took an almost certainly fatal blow tonight after they lost to the New England Patriots. And let's just be honest, after the way that the Broncos have played in their last two games, they don't deserve to make the playoffs. They're not playing playoff caliber football right now. But the fact of the matter is, mathematically, they are still slightly alive. They do have a faint pulse with a 4% chance to make the playoffs. If they win out on their own, that could take it up to a 9% chance. The fact of the matter is the Broncos need a metric ton of help in order to have a shot at the playoffs. And we might as well at least go over the scenarios that could land the Broncos into the playoffs or at least the most likely scenario. I ran it through here on the New York Times playoff simulator. Now, for week 16, the two games here that we have remaining don't really have much of a swing for the Broncos playoff odds, so I just picked the most realistic outcomes, which is the Chiefs beating the Raiders, obviously, and then the 49ers beating the Ravens. I feel like that game could go either way, but right now the 49ers are looking like easily the best team in football. I don't see the Ravens beating them in their own house, but you know, anything could happen because the Ravens are also playing some really good ball. But we come into the games that really do start to matter here, and this is one that is looking a little unrealistic because we need the Patriots to go into Buffalo and beat the Bills. What's unfortunate here is that the game is in Buffalo, but the Bills did lose one game already to the Patriots this year, a game that they had no business losing. So you never know, man. And the way that the Patriots played tonight, I thought they actually played some pretty good football. So if they are riding high on this win from their previous week, maybe they do go into Buffalo and play spoiler. You never know. Then you need the Raiders to beat the Colts. That one definitely has some swing to it, but it's not completely devastating like if the Bills knock out the Patriots right here because then it would come down to basically a tiebreaker. We would need the Houston Texans to lose to the Indianapolis Colts in that particular scenario, but the most direct path for the Broncos in this case would be um, for the Patriots to win and then the Raiders to win. Then we need a Jaguars win over the Carolina Panthers. I actually feel like that's another one that doesn't really have a whole lot of swing. Yep, it doesn't have any swing. This is the one that also has some swing here. We need the Titans to beat the Texans. The way the Texans played today against the Cleveland Browns, they have a shot at it, but the Titans lost a game that they had no business losing against the Texans a couple of weeks ago, so that's a tough one. We need the Seahawks to beat the Steelers, which I definitely think is possible. Needless to say, the Broncos have to win their final two games, so we have to take care of our own business at home against the Chargers. Um, a team that was really frisky against the Buffalo Bills last week. So that's not going to be as easy of an out as a lot of people think it might be. We need the Chiefs to beat the Bengals. That would be um, because of wild card odds. Obviously, the Broncos have no shot at the division anymore. That's completely thrown out the window. The only way the Broncos would get in now as, is the seventh seed. Then we come down to week 17 here, guys, or week 18, excuse me. And um, we would need a Titans win, or actually this one doesn't have any swing on it. It did in the simulator when I ran through it. We would need to take care of our own business. A Dolphins win over the Bills, and then a Ravens win over the Steelers. If all that happens, the Broncos are in the playoffs. Anything's possible, man. Anything is possible. But realistically, I think that what the Broncos are trying to shoot for right now is win out and get their first winning record since 2016. You're on the right track. You're you're building in the right direction if you're the Denver Broncos right now. And even if you fall short and don't make the playoffs, which is by far the most likely scenario, I'm still really proud of how this team has fought, even throughout some of the games where things haven't gone their way. Even in the Patriots game tonight, the Broncos fought until the very end. I wish it had ended differently. The Broncos were in that game even after playing like crap in the third quarter and completely collapsing. They came back in the fourth quarter. Maybe we'll see a desperation comeback by the Broncos here. You never know, but even if the Broncos fall short, I'm still very proud of what this team has been able to achieve this year.